and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I was a little bit torn as to what to film for Fossil Friday this week because Fridays are no longer free for me. I have just started a new job, so it's all a little bit chaotic. But um, I just thought, I randomly kind of thought, maybe I will share my pendant collection. So you might have noticed I always wear this necklace all the time, but I change up my pendants quite frequently. So today I'm wearing a silver starfish one that I got in Barcelona actually, but I've basically accumulated quite a nice little collection of pendants from here, there and everywhere. And I thought I would share some of the fossil and stone ones with you guys, cause you might be interested, but they all fit in this little box. So they don't take up like a huge amount of space but um, it is a little bit crammed in there. So you've seen the one I'm wearing currently and then the other one I wear all the time is this silver labdorite one. Um, so it's just this beautiful sort of teardrop shaped labdorite and I just really love it. And I actually got this one really cheap because it actually has a crack through it, but I don't think it shows. Um, I don't know if it's gonna focus, there we go. Um, it's got a teeny tiny crack that they fixed beautifully, but obviously it meant it had an imperfection in their eyes, but um, I fell in love with it. So I got that one quite cheap. It was just from like a little marketplace. And then I've got kind of a few I've collected from family members. So this one was given to me by my auntie. I, why aren't they focusing? Do I have to, oh, I have to put my hand behind them. So this one's like mother of pearl and shaped as kind of like a Nautilus shell or an ammonite. So I think that one's really cute. And they all sit beautifully on my necklace, um, which means I just need one necklace and a box full of pendants apparently. And then this one was from my Nan. So again, it's mother of pearl and it just sits beautifully on my necklace and the colors are just really brought out by the silver, I think. Um, and I just really like that one. I think it's quite unusual. Um, and then we've got, of course, we've got ammonites. You probably, the, I wear my ammonites all the time as well. So we've got this one and then one just wasn't enough. So I also have this one. If it's gone focus. There we go. So this one's a little bit bigger, but um, doesn't have as much like silver detailing around it. So I've kind of collected these over the years from like eBay, from Etsy, from little market stalls, from abroad on holiday, like literally everywhere. Oh, and this one's from a charity shop. So this starfish I'm wearing is like a cast in silver of a starfish. Whereas this one I found in the charity shop I used to volunteer in. And I think it's an actual starfish that's then been coated in like paint or something. Um, so that one's a bit more unusual, but I love it all the same. I think that's quite cool. Um, yeah, so what else do we have? I have like a hot pink agite necklace. Um, so I know this one is probably dyed and all of that jazz, but I have a jumpsuit this color and it looks gorgeous with it. So we like that one too. Then what else do I have? This isn't a pendant, but it's a necklace that is inspired by sea urchins, which I think is quite cool. So you can see like the pattern on there is meant to imitate that of a sea urchin. So I love that one as well. I basically love anything fossil or nature related. You probably can tell. Um, then we've got, what else do we have? We've got a little bit of quartz here. So I'm pretty sure I got this one from a boot sale. Literally I've collected them from everywhere. <laughs> but um, I just thought that one was really sweet and that was before I got really into geology. So it's kind of cute. Then what else do we have? We have a nice, there's a word for this one where it's quartz, but with like stems of something else in it. And I completely forgotten what it is called. Um, I hope that showed you, it's got like black lines in it. There's also like what looks to be bubbles in it. Um, but that one I got with the labdorite one um, from the same guy, so that's quite cool. And then this is really sweet actually. When I went to Venice, this isn't anything to do with rocks. Um, they have all the masks over there and I really wanted a necklace to remember the trip with because I went with my dad and we found this. It was actually a keyring and we turned it into a pendant and it sits beautifully on my necklace. And then we went to the island of Murano where they make the Murano glass uh, beads and like amazing sculptures. Like I just would never know how to get the sculptures home. And we picked up two Murano glass beads. So they sit either side of the mask and I just, it's so special that because we literally, we went to Venice and we went to the island of Murano and we just put together this necklace that means the world to me and it just reminds me of the trip every time I wear it. So it's really, really lovely. 
And then the next one I have is this owl, which has <laughs> a tiny piece of rose quartz underneath it. <laughs> Excuse the fingernails, normally they look a bit nicer than this, it's because I've been climbing quite a lot recently, so uh, we're just snapping them off left, right and centre, but that's the fun of climbing. Then the other pendant I have, again it's not stone or fossil, but I thought you might want to see all my pendants, maybe. It's this beautiful dragonfly one, but the tail like moves. I just thought that was really pretty. This was actually on a really long necklace that one of my aunties gave me, but I much prefer wearing it on a short necklace. I think it just looks nicer when they're up there, um, I think anyway. So now we're on to my necklaces that aren't pendants, but are extremely extra. Like, look at that. <laughs> like, if anyone can wear this necklace, it's me. I don't think this was made for anyone else. It's actually surprisingly hard to style. I don't have many clothes that work with it, but it is so stunning and I just fell in love with it and I just knew I had to have it. And it's just beautifully made. I just, I love it so much. It's just so perfect. And then I also have, this is a Labdorite necklace rather than a pendant. Don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys, it should be. I'm trying to hide my face because my camera has like face tracking and so if I don't put my face behind my hand it won't focus on the necklace um, but I love this necklace I think it's really sweet and then I also have an amethyst one because I love amethyst so much focus on it there you go I think it's just so pretty and I love the purple of amethyst oh and I do have an amethyst pendant how could I forget? <laughs> um, so it's kind of like this circular one, but I love how it's cut and it looks really pretty on. Um, so I really love that one. Oh, and then I do have a little amber pendant. So it's just this sort of like flower amber pendant and I just think that's really dainty and really pretty. So I love that one as well. And then the last one I've got, I can't actually remember the name of what stone this is. It looks a bit like labdorite, but it's not. That's all I can remember. I can't actually remember the name of it. It's got labdorite stones in it, so these circular ones either side of it are labdorite. But I can't remember what the big one is. Yeah, I can't remember for the life of me. It'll, I'll literally remember it as soon as I finish this video, but... Yeah, can't remember it. But yeah, they're all my pendants. So I know it was a bit of a random video today, but just kind of getting back into the swing of a routine because obviously I'm now juggling a full-time job as well. I say full-time, it's kind of all over the place, but um, it's good fun. I'm enjoying it. So that's always a good thing. But um, yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. I know I say that every video, but if there's little ideas I can get and I can just squeeze them in in the evenings, that's brilliant. But um, I will have more time here and there. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll link my Instagram down below if you'd like to check that out. But um, thank you again for watching and hopefully you'll stay for more.